Howdy again everyone, and two things have led me to want to test out the camera you see before you today. Firstly, the Digital Rev TV video of Kai Wong and Philip Bloom playing around with a similar camera, and secondly, my three year old daughter's fascination with dolls. It's the famous Barbie camera, from all the way back in 2012. Yes, I'm finally getting in touch with my feminine side and taking up the legitimate excuse to play with a Barbie doll for a couple of weeks. This is different from the one Philip Bloom showcased on Digital Rev a few years ago in that, instead of shooting only video, this one, more usefully, takes still pictures and only still pictures. The sample pictures you see here are taken by various members of my family, including my three-year-old daughter. Generally speaking, I'm a pretty red-blooded heterosexual male, so playing with Barbie dolls is well and truly out of my zone of experience, although disturbingly, I have to admit to having kind of enjoyed playing with the Barbie camera, it's actually impressively well made. The camera's clothes are snugly fitting and well designed and tailored, the camera's hair feels nice and soft, the camera's neck smoothly spins around 360 degrees just like Linda Blair's in The Exorcist, its arms turn in all kinds of bizarre contortionist directions, my only complaint is that the camera's freakishly long legs appear locked in place as if gripped in the throes of double stiff limb syndrome, but you can take this camera's shoes off which is a pretty unique feature, and pretty classy shoes they are too. With its blue eyes, blonde hair, and nice figure, this camera reminds me of my wife more than any other I have used, which is always going to make me predisposed to liking it. It comes with the pinkest and loveliest looking 2012 style mini USB cable I've yet seen, which disturbingly plugs into Barbie's rear end to power her up. I don't want this video to get demonetized, so no comment. In all honesty, I don't know how much I should admit to this, but I'm actually quite impressed with this camera's quote unquote build quality. It's actually really well made, and I can see the appeal. Well, for three year old girls, anyway. There is a little lever at the side of her hips which turns Barbie on. Flip it down to play back pictures you've already taken, and flip it up to go into camera mode. Pressing left and right on her belt lets you choose various picture effects and frames, and pressing the heart in the middle takes a picture. It really is that simple to be honest, the camera doesn't do anything else whatsoever, no options, no settings, no video, no nothing. The screen looks really cool on her chest there, although it is somewhat dark and of course low resolution. And speaking of low resolution, when it comes to picture quality, well, I bought this thing because I thought it might be funny to put it through all my usual crazy optical tests, but with a resolution of only 128 by 128 pixels, the same as the original Game Boy camera, coincidentally, I quickly realised that would be 100% pointless. Its resolution is considerably lower even than that horrible plastic eBay camera I tested last Christmas. The camera's images are very soft, noisy, washed out, well, you name it really, and certainly back in 2012 this would have been unimpressive. Each picture takes up on average 7 or 8 kilobytes, and with a memory capacity of about 3 megabytes, that means Barbie can store about 350 pictures. I was impressed that her memory still worked properly after 16 years of disuse. In Barbie years, that must be like a century, so she's been doing something or another to keep herself sharp. Although having said that, Barbie would only transfer her pictures to my computer at an average speed of 4 kilobytes per second, which was mildly annoying. Barbie's battery lasted a pretty long time, I was able to take around 100 pictures here without having to charge her up again. Overall, me and my family quite enjoyed playing with the Barbie camera, it's just a shame the results are so low resolution that the final pictures don't really offer you much. I'd love to see whoever makes Barbie dolls putting together an updated version for us for 2023, I'd buy that any day, uh, for my daughter that is, of course. 